In this video cheat sheet, we're going to be covering one of my, my favorite BGP peer commands, soft reconfiguration. We're going to start off with some baseline show commands, show IP BGP neighbor, and we're going to specify 12.12.12.2, what routes are we receiving from that neighbor. We're going to do this on router 1. And then also on router 1, we're going to enable a debug IP BGP out a command and then we're going to customize the BGP peer soft reconfiguration and then finish it with a verification command to see if uh, the baseline has changed any once we've configured it. Let's look at the network real quick. We're actually going to be in this video cheat sheet configuring this feature, this soft reconfiguration feature throughout the entire network. I'm going to show you router one, show you the rest of the configurations, and then uh, we'll finish up. So let's go ahead and get started. Here on router one, I'm going to do a debug IP BGP out so that we can see how this changes as we progress through. Now I'm going to do a show IP BGP neighbor, specify the neighbor, and then I'm going to say show me what routes I'm receiving from that neighbor. That's what that, this command gives us. Show me what routes I'm receiving from 12.12.12.2. And it's going to give me the error. It says inbound soft reconfiguration not enabled. This command is extremely handy. This neighbor, you specify the neighbor, and then soft reconfiguration inbound. This command is extremely handy on eBGP sessions because you don't control the other side. You don't know what it is they're supposed to be sending you. But if you can if you can do this command um, on an eBGP peer, then it gives you the functionality before filtering happens and, and before anything else happens to say, show me what this peer is advertising to me. All right, so I put the command in there, the neighbor, specify the neighbor and soft reconfig inbound. And now I'm going to do a show IP BGP neighbor, specify the neighbor again, and then do received routes. Now we see here from our debug output that we've had a refresh where we've basically sent a, a, new, a new function, a new feature that this router is now capable of, which is the soft reconfiguration. So I'm going to turn debugging off and now I am going to do my received routes command and before when I received an error now I re actually am re it actually shows me what prefixes I am receiving from that neighbor. Now this can also be done so this was an eBGP session that we did this on and that's where it comes in really handy. You can also do it on iBGP sessions and we're going to do that here on router 2 to router 4. Now you control both sides so there's other commands that you can do but for uniformity you can do this throughout your network whether it's an eBGP session or an iBGP session and as you can see I'm going to do it on router 2 back to 4 I'm going to do it on routers 3 and 5 back to 4. I'm also going to do it on router 2 to router 1, router 6 to router 4, and to router 7, and then also router 4 to all of its iBGP route reflector clients. So I'm going to stop the video now and do this and then pick it up when I get back down here to router 7. Okay, so I've, I've finished configuring the soft reconfig inbound feature for all of my peers in my IGP within Autonomous System 1. And now I'm picking back up here at the end at router 7. And I'm going to do a show IP BGP neighbor received routes from 6. And of course, there's, there's my error once again. So now I'm going to configure it so that I now have this feature to that neighbor. And now I'm going to do my show command again to see what routes I am receiving. And there they are. Okay, so we did a show IP BGP neighbor, specified the neighbor, and, and, and said, show me what routes I'm receiving from this neighbor. We didn't have any because soft reconfig inbound was not configured. So we configured it, then we did the show command again, and then it showed us what routes we're receiving from that neighbor. This can be done over an eBGP session, or it could be done with an iBGP session. It's a very good feature with eBGP, but you can do it throughout your entire network for uniformity.